So, Aurora he actually has a pretty important place within the new Genshin Impact roster, and I wanted to talk about him really quickly. Yes, he's going to be pretty important because a lot of people might see Aurora like, eh, I'll move on. But I need to tell you that he actually has a lot to offer. Not only in Atlan, but in other regions as well, including and not, you know, limited to the Spiral Abyss. Now, Aurora has this little thing with electro charge reactions that sort of reminds me of another character. <clears throat> Chevrolet. But he isn't quite exactly like that because Chevrolet kind of buffs the team. When in the other section where you have Aurora, he sort of gives a Shing Cho vibe with what he does. Now, definitely a weird way to do it but he is an awesome character and i'm gonna talk about it right now now ruin is a character where you have his real elemental skill is kind of the big part of his kit and his elemental burst kind of just like a side thing but what you want to know is that ruin has these three things Firstly, he has energy recharge that, you know, he kind of helps you gain energy in your team. So whether he's on field or not, you kind of gain a lot of energy thanks to his passive, which is a really nice thing. Secondly, he has the ability to be a second Shincho, but for Electro. So every now and then, because of Aurora's Nights of Blessing, you are have the ability to cause electro or lightning to fall down from the sky and hit a few enemies at a time this helps you deal electro related damage which is really nice so whether you want electro charge which is going to be pretty important for the third thing that i want to talk about and you can do other stuff as well such as overloaded teams with shivros could be pretty fun i think or whatever it may be he is awesome and thirdly, let's talk about Electro Charge. So once he does do a little bit of Electro Charge with his Lightning Bolts, you will see a little bit of an explosion happening. This can trigger every now and then when his energy is full and he does a lot of damage with it. It is amazing what he can do and I definitely think he is a sleeper character that a lot of people might gloss over. Now why I'm saying he's going to be pretty good is because as I said many a time, he has like Shing Cho qualities. He's able to deal damage while not being on field, which is a pretty important thing and allows you to deal electro related damage at a much easier pace. So, with characters that are mainly focusing, maybe being a Dendro character can do a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. But because he is going to help a lot with electro charge, you might want to consider having just a Hydro character do most of the damage and that is where you find a lot of value coming in from him, which is pretty nice. Auroron is definitely an interesting character and he's gonna be quite easy to build. In fact, roll him with a little bit of a Cinder City situation and you're good to go. Obviously, that is if you're gonna use him as a support, which I do suggest. But if you want him to be on field, Maybe Thundering Fury, Herb City, and Codex, and there you go. Good as new. In terms of his teams, you definitely want to stick with some sort of Electro Charge vibe. So maybe Raiden Shogun could be important, as well as maybe Fiorina, and a character that allows Fiorina to heal pretty quick, which is going to be pretty important. Or you can have a Shilonen, a Chlorin, a Chincho team with Aurora. That's going to be pretty big. Or maybe a Sucrose Kazaha situation with Aurora. That would be pretty awesome as well. Now, I want to talk about this one team that, hey, maybe a lot of you guys haven't considered, which is Tartaglia. I love Tartaglia and him can't, like being able to use potentially some electro charge situation is going to be pretty awesome. Imagine Tartaglia with Raiden, with Roran, and with um, maybe Kaza or Shilonen or some, someone like that. Definitely going to be an interesting scenario. And yeah, that is, that is where I stand. He's definitely going to be a character that has his little niche with Electro Charge, but he also can do different stuff 
with dendro which i think is going to be pretty cool or any other element that needs that um, electro reaction right even overloaded as i said before but potentially be kind of okay with this and i really really like that but yeah that is pretty much all i wanted to talk about i think he's going to be an awesome character let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you agree with me maybe not let me know i'll see you guys in the next one very soon Goodbye.